everyone. Thank you so much for applying to the new Student Founders Program. We're really excited to be launching this this semester. My name is Katherine Black and I work here at Duke Innovation and Entrepreneurship. I focus on experiential programs as well as social innovation. And I also co-founded the Duke Engage Detroit program seven years ago. Hi, I'm Amy Lenane. I launched a software as a service startup a few years ago and ran a business accelerator out of UNC called Launch Chapel Hill. So I'm new to the Duke team and I work on graduate and experiential programming out of INE. Hi, uh, Steve McClelland. I'm actually a Duke engineering grad. Um, after graduation, I didn't do much engineering. I actually went into software startups and then product management for a bunch of years before returning back to Duke. And now I work at the engineering school focused on undergraduate entrepreneurship. And I'm Howie Ree. Uh, as an undergrad, I left school to start a company, uh, ended up finishing uh, in undergrad and working in startups for the last 20 years. Um, and over the last 13 of those years, I've been focused on helping Duke create great student founders. Um, and so the Student Founders Program is really a chance for you to be, become the best founder that you can possibly be. Um, now, not all of you are going to become founders, which is great. We just want to help you be as innovative as possible. Um, but for those of you that do want to become founders, we want to help kind of give you the skills and mindset that it takes to become a founder. Uh, and so our catchphrase is we're focused on unleashing your creative potential, uh, turning sparks into transformative products and services. Yeah, and part of the model for this program is based on what we saw in, in areas where students were focused on becoming better at something that really interests them. So whether you're a musician, a dancer, an athlete, we have structured systems here where you practice every week and you get better regardless of whether you're the best or you're just trying to get better. Um, and so we want to create that kind of commitment where you could come and practice and get better every week, but also do it with other people with the same goal. And we really believe that together you go farther. So we are focusing on mutual learning. This is one of the reasons that we have these practice sessions where you know, you'll come together with the same group of people every week and learn from one another, get feedback, and be able to move forward with your idea. Yeah, and I'll add that you know, we want to create a community out of this. There's been a, lots of work where there's sort of a, a challenge where there's a contest and there's winners and losers and the winners get funded or move on to sort of further their idea and then everyone else is sort of left like, what do I do now? So we wanna kinda of create this, this home base for you to sort of come together and keep improving, maybe to win some of those contests, but also to get support just from our group to sort of make sure you have the best chance uh, moving forward. One thing we wanna share is that um, this program, even though it's new, it's part of a legacy at Duke. Uh, in recent years, we've had uh, the Melissa and Doug Entrepreneurs Program, uh, which has been fantastic. Uh, in producing founders. And before that, we've had a lot of other programs around Duke which have produced other founders. But even if you go back to the founding of Duke University, uh, the Duke family ended up being some of the best entrepreneurs in America at the time. Uh, just some examples of more recent founders. Uh, so just in the last year alone, we've had a number of founders that have uh, Duke uh, degrees who have gone to become worth a billion dollars in their company. So Zach Parrott of Plaid, um, Matt Kane of Precision Biosciences and Howie Liu of Airtable. Uh, and just in terms of student entrepreneurs that have uh, graduated from Duke um, as student founders, we have a number, about 15, that have launched over the last five years, including Max Stern of Closure, Arun Karatu of Smart Metals Recycling, Ivana Dumanian of Fathom AI, and James Wu of Adaptalab. And we also want to introduce you to the concept of social innovation and social entrepreneurship. Um, you know, whether you're doing a commercial or a social venture, we want to, we want to show you how you can be innovative and entrepreneurial um, and create positive impact in whatever path you choose. Um, you know, some really great examples of alums who have gone in the social innovation space are Melinda Gates, Paul Farmer of Partners in Health, and then Suhani Jaloda, who is a recent graduate and founded the Mina Mihila Foundation, focusing on menstruation challenges in India. So just to give you a sense of how the program is structured, uh, there's four blocks. The first is recruitment, the second is innovators, the third is entrepreneurs, and the fourth is alumni. Mm -hmm. Um, so the recruitment portion, uh, the idea is that we want to touch every single Duke student that's out there and see whether or not they're interested in potentially becoming a student founder and at the least nurturing their creativity. 
And as Steve kind of spoke about earlier, something that we've noticed here at Duke is there are all sorts of competitions and things that you can be a part of for your venture and your idea, but only the winner actually gets you know, to move forward to the next round or it gets the funding. And, you know, we wanted to create a space that was able to provide an opportunity for all the ideas that are growing at the university level to, you know, grow and develop. That's right. So for those of you that move on from recruitment into the Innovators Program and are committed to growing and developing, as Catherine said, uh, we really want to celebrate and nurture your creativity, which is something we don't think uh, a lot of educational systems do. And we want to help you take that creativity and channel it into building a prototype that customers love. So that's the end point for the Innovators Program. Yeah, and that's sort of a really a validation of that both you can sort of actually achieve this or in, have a path to sort of build this and that there is demand that people really care or need this in the world. And then I think you actually need a team of people to actually carry it further. And you'll end, you'll end up with uh, you know, more, more tasks that are a little bit different around actually founding the venture, how you get funding, how you organize your team, how you manage your team. And we'll have different sets of resources, different sets of coaching for people who reach that stage. And we'll, if we recognize you're there, we'll invite you into that program and it'll sort of unlock a couple of the other perks that are available um, for ventures. Uh, and then we'll have you know, other perks that are, are available for everyone to sort of get there. 10 lucky students will have a chance to work here this summer. We are doing a summer accelerator where students will get a $5,000 stipend, access to mentors, coaches, etc. And in terms of block four for this program, um, for people who graduate the program and graduate Duke, we still want to support you even after that's finished. Yeah, and like anything you start here at Duke is, you know, if successful, is likely not to resolve while you're here at Duke. So that's why we want to extend it onto alumni. It's, it's a long path to sort of success and you'll have ups and downs. And we want Duke to be sort of a resource and this community to be a resource for you even after you graduate. And just to build on that, so for those of you that are here for the summer, you're gonna be able to attend the Duke Transform program, which is for our alumni founders. Uh, last year, we had about 80 alumni founders that were back in town for that. And we have made a special spot for the student founders that are here for the summer to be able to participate for free. So most of you that um, are applying here for the program, you're gonna enter directly into the Innovators program, again, to focus on nurturing your creativity and build a prototype. Uh, but for some of you who already have a business that's running and have a prototype that's out there with customers, uh, you have the potential to enter directly into the Entrepreneurs Program. So we're excited to work with you. Uh, we need to figure out where you are though. So attached to, as part of this email, there should be a sign up for interviews with Howie or me and we'll be chatting with you in the next week. And uh, we'd love your feedback. Uh, please email us anytime at dukefounders at duke.edu. We want to hear your questions, your suggestions, your thoughts, and uh, help us make this the program that is most helpful to you. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.